Hi everyone, I'm Puneet Suri. A very warm welcome to all of you and thanks for joining the FCM Global Summit, Think. After a tough and challenging two years due to COVID-19, corporate travel and business overall are coming back on track and supported by the largest vaccination program successfully undertaken in India. Also, the growing economy and most importantly, TMC is adapting and innovating to come up with the solution and the strategies which could support our travelers in the post-COVID era. I would like to shed some light on the same. Along with that, I would also give you some trend analysis about the market update. So to begin with, I'll just talk about the economic trends in India. The real GDP of India contracted by 6.6% in the financial year 2021, whereas it is expected to post a growth of 9% for the financial year 2022, which is uh, really nice. Along with this, uh, the growing economy, increasing middle class of Indian population could be a key driver for a growth in travel. India had 40 million households in this bracket in 2012, while it has grown to above 100 million this fiscal year. This number is expected to accelerate and reach 180 million by 2030. So also I would like to give you some analysis on the pre-COVID levels uh, with reference to Indian civil aviation industry, you know, which was the third largest in the world and uh, which was over $100 billion industry. Based on this, only 5% of Indians used to travel overseas and 15% flew domestically. With second largest population in the world, we anticipate huge rise in these numbers in times to come. Now giving you some uh, understanding about the business travel trends for 2022 and the state of the market, uh, we are witnessing an amazing pickup in demand for business travel and hope it would gain further momentum in coming months. March and April month numbers indicate that we will reach normalcy very soon. There is a leading focus on personalization, duty of care, and creating memorable customer journeys. Though the emphasis remains on essential travel, we have seen a huge surge in demand for small meetings and event requirements. The reopening of India's scheduled flights is already seeing a surge in positive corporate sentiments. And we have seen uh, a great March month for ourselves where we have closed 107% of our pre-COVID pre levels. Our current corporate sectors like IT, pharma, advisory firms, banking, and finance, and also SMEs are fueling demand for international and domestic travel. Companies across sectors have also deployed significant amounts of capital investment to support the, their operations, their growth strategies, and their people. An increased focus on environmental, social, and governance matters has led some firms to invest in reducing their greenhouse gas emissions. State governments have also rolled back restrictions pertaining to travel. There's a stronger bounce back of business. Recovery in both leisure and corporate travel is faster than that has registered in the first and second wave. The domestic business, which has been a main business driver for almost two years now, has been the quickest to recover with lower cases of infection and increasing vaccinations. People have started traveling again and we are witnessing a surge in demand. International uh, destinations displaying strong demand include the US, UK, and from a domestic perspective, Delhi, Bangalore, and Chennai. Overall, my fleet have increased many folds. And interestingly, the last month we executed 85 groups and we are witnessing a high demand in the sporting events uh, and with a, with a huge pipeline for the FIFA World Cup in Qatar and T20 World Cup in Australia for my struggle. Multiple group, uh, group queries, uh, various sizes are lined up from various sectors, which are like pharma, insurance, cement, FMCG, automobile, banking, and finance for short haul destinations like Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Singapore, and Australia, and Europe in the long haul. And interestingly, I'm very happy, uh, delighted to share some business trends 
on, on the quarterly basis. The Q1, uh, we did about 32.3% versus the pre-COVID levels. Q2 improved at nearly 58% levels. And very interestingly, Q3 has been at 85% levels versus the pre-COVID levels. So, you know, this is very encouraging sign. Lastly, some update around the tech initiatives. As we all understand, tech is ever evolving space. From TMC perspective, we have always uh, taken initiatives on this front, irrespective of pandemic situation. We thought it's imperative for us to continue our focus and investments in this space. We have been using a technology called Phoenix tool out of India for nearly a decade now. We kept on upgrading the same from time to time. We anticipated that present tool has a lot of dependency on the third party. And we thought of investing in the new project for Gemini, where we shall have better controls and which will support us delivering better outcome for our customers. So far, we have, we have covered a great amount of journey on this front. And by July 2022, we will be ready to launch the phase one. And we are also very excited that by January 2023, we will launch this new tool in the market, in the Indian market. Thank you. Thanks very much.